Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is May 1st, and this is your aftermarket update. So we had a good day here at the Oil Trading Group. We're going to talk to you a little bit about uh, our trade of the day. We're going to spend just a couple of minutes talking to you uh, about our market maker levels um, and kind of how we got into this trade and how these uh, market maker lev levels allowed us to maximize our trade and get us really close uh, within a few ticks of our target before uh, we pulled the trade off of the chart. But what I want to show you first here today, uh, I want to spend just a minute with you talking about one of our favorite setups. Again, I've been really uh, driving this point home here over the last several uh, days worth of videos. Uh, and our uh, retracement level happened here again today. And it really caused uh, the market to stop. And it's one of the reasons why we bailed out of our short a little bit early today. So this is your 15-minute chart. One of the things that we always talk about is the higher low for the week get made on Monday or Tuesday. And as I squeeze this chart in, this was uh, Monday two weeks ago. This was last Monday. This was the high. Uh, this got within two ticks of the high on Thursday, but we did make that high on Monday. And of course, we have today is Monday as well. So maybe uh, we put in this high here Sunday, not Monday, right up in this area. We'll see. Uh, but what I did want to show you here, uh, we had a a little bit of choppy sideways action going on. In fact, uh, today's range was only 73 ticks compared uh, to the 122 ticks uh, on the 10-day average. So again, the range has been somewhat narrow here again uh, today, uh, but we were able to manage to get a really nice trade in here. So I'm gonna show you a couple things right now. One, I wanna show you just a measured move. This is the high from Thursday. Uh, I believe that's Thursday. Let's make sure here that is the 26th. So if we come back here, I don't think that's Thursday. I think that's Wednesday. Wednesday the 26th to the low on Thursday, you had a retracement into one of our favorite spots again right here. And then uh, we are forming a little bit of this triangle. So what you do uh, is when you get a triangle like this, when you break the triangle, it's a measured move. What I simply have done here is just take that measurement right there. So what you do is you take where uh, the, the two points where the triangle uh, come together and where that breaks, at least that's the way I like to look at it, and where that breaks would be your target. So we got it to about the 50% level on this. You could be looking to reach out to somewhere in that 48, 20 area, maybe tomorrow. Uh, we'll see if that finishes. But what this red line represents right here is that retracement point set up, one of my favorite setups that we give you uh, in that $47 extended trial bundle. So that level right there represents uh, that retracement point and you can see here uh, that the market really just kind of rotated around that area. So we got a lot of this move down here, and I'll show you that in just a minute. And then uh, this was kind of the main reason why I looked to bail out of this trade uh, a few ticks before it actually got to my target. So let's talk about the actual trade itself today. So one of the things that we have in here it, that is exclusive to the oil trading group, and that is what we call our market maker levels. Um, these market maker levels are dynamic support resistance, and over the course of the next several days, uh, I'm going to be sending you out uh, an email. Uh, you should, your first one will be today, along with this video, just kind of beginning to explain a little bit about why these are unique and why they're unique to us. Uh, but let's talk about what they are here today. So as the market opened up here, this daily structure signal uh, formed here right after the pit opened. And you had this rotation around this zone. So as the market sold off into this zone, we were using our volume tools, our liquidity tools to uh, take a get a couple of ideas. We took a couple of trades long off of this daily structure signal here. Uh, pretty small, pretty tight stops as we were looking for uh, price action to be choppy to sideways with a bearish lean today. So anything that was counter to the bearish idea, uh, we had a little bit tighter stops. We took two break-even trades uh, in this zone. And then once we got into uh, just inside of what we call the 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. swing zone, that's this blue area here, we look, start to look for reversal patterns. Uh, we got up into this area here, uh, and let's turn this on, these secondary levels on. Uh, you came right up into what we consider to be that London range low. We found in, a, in sort of a climax, climax move here, uh, we found resistance up at that level and then immediately began to sell off and that's where I look to get in short here underneath the daily structure signal. So one of the things that we look for here is this reversal pattern which here in this case was this really heavy move up followed quickly by a red bar down and then a sell off right. So as we got into our daily structure signal 
uh, we were looking for this to go to the structure mid and then maybe even higher up to the structure signal on the other side. And when the market failed to do that, and by the way, this is all detailed out in our uh, market maker level, defining your trading edge training. This is all detailed out here. We went through this in the room today, but as the market rallies up into this zone and we get into the 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. swing zone where we're looking for a big move to occur, we look to get short here at the daily structure signal. Now, it came right down into this daily structure target. So I was looking for a bit of a deeper move down here to the daily structure extension one. Uh, I thought that we would have that energy to get down into that area. We got down here to 72. The market rotated around just a little bit. And then we come down just a little bit deeper. And when we get down here to 59 and can't get through it, if you watch the video at the very end, uh, the last 30 seconds of the video, I start describing the massive amounts of liquidity that was starting to protect underneath. And so I get out at, I think I said 60 on the video. I think when I went back and looked, it was 61 actually uh, when I got out. But if you take a look right here, back to our favorite uh, retracement point here, that's right at 65. And so you see how the market really just couldn't get down through that level and then rallied up to it. So you had a combination of things here. Primarily, we got short uh, because of our market maker levels and the way that we look at the market and the way that we train that market, uh, train you on those levels. And by the way, those levels work in any market uh, that has a uh, discernible open and close, right? So if it has a what used to be a pit open like the CL or the ES or the TF or the YM gold, any futures market like that that has a discernible pit open and close, you can uh, use it in those markets. But anyway, we got in short there off the daily structure signal. It came down into the structure target, and we were looking for it to take a little bit deeper to that extension one. But we ran into one of our favorite retracement setups, and that's really where the market stabilized uh, for the balance of the day. So ended up with uh, a nice Monday, 58 ticks on two lots. That's a, that's a, a, a really good uh, way to start the week. So I'm going to let you watch uh, this OTG trade of the day. What I've done is I let you see where we get in. I let you hear where the target is. I've condensed the middle down. I've sped the middle up, chopped it up, sped it up. And then I'm going to let you listen to the last 30 seconds so you can see why it is. You'll hear me talk about why it is uh, that I was looking to get out of that trade. So I am going to let you watch uh, that OTG trade of the day. So without further ado, here is your OTG trade of the day why here in just a second in at 89 short stop is 13 and the target is daily structure extension one at 53.
behind. Okay, there's 64, push through. There we go, 63, 62. Trail stop here, 69. There's 61. Come on, 60, 59. Let's go. You've got big liquidity underneath you here. Uh, there's 60, 67 on the trail stop. 62, 61. Tell you what. Pull this off right here. I'm just taking it off. I'm out at 60. I'm just taking it off. All right. So you can see that uh, there, based on the last little bit of that video uh, that we got out, right as it started to peter out down here, you heard me talk about the massive liquidity that was stacking up below us. And so I did not want to give any more back. Mondays can be a little bit challenging, a little bit tricky. And we wanted to make sure we protected of that, as much of that as we could. And that really turned out to be the right idea as the market then rallies out of that uh, zone up to uh, 85. And again, that was the catching that uh, favorite retracement area again, right? This is kind of where it started to rotate around. So it ended up being the right idea. Uh, got out and uh, saved most of those ticks that we had made. And it ended up being a really good Monday. So again, uh, as always, I want to spend time, spend uh, say thank you for spending time. How's that? I want to say thank you for spending the time watching the videos here with us today at the Oil Trading Group. And until next time, I want to wish you good luck and good trading.